uh, destination address of the packet. It would say, okay, I'm going to look at the uh, MAC address of the destination. I would go through my table to see if I have a destin uh, the MAC address, which is the destination one. And I would say, okay, for example, um, this is for a PC. Excuse me, this is for PC, for example, 3. Okay, it would go down the table and look at this and find this that, yeah, I, I found the MAC address of what that you just wrote. Okay, this PC3 and PC1 are not in the table. We just write in this so that you would understand. Um, so it would go down the table, find the MAC address of the destination, and it would look and it would say, okay, it's accessible through port 2. What it would do is that simply just send the packet through port 2, send it for the switch, switch knows what to do with the packet and would just simply send it for PC 3. Okay, so that's it. But if the packet is simply just headed for the bridge here, okay, the destination is the bridge, simply first of all it would um, look at, at the sender's MAC address and it would just simply enter it in the table or if it has it it would just give it a check and then it would just simply process it for itself. Okay. But what happens, for example, here, if we didn't have this entry of PC3 here? Okay, let's just cross it out. Okay, so again, PC1 and PC3. PC1 wants to send the packet for, for PC3. It would just simply go ahead and send the packet to our bridge here. Okay, when the bridge receives it, first of all, as we said, it would process the sender's address it would come and look if it has the MAC address of the sender okay this as we said this is the MAC address of PC1 put a one here so we know what it is for, to who it belongs to and it received it from port 1 so okay no problem but when it comes to the destination he wants to the bridge actually wants to look to see if it has the destination MAC address in its table as well it would come down the list it won't find the MAC address of the destination so what does it do okay when it comes to this kind of situation, the, the bridge here would simply broadcast that packet around um, to the other port which is attached to. Okay, this is important. When it's going to broadcast the message, okay, it won't broadcast it from the port that it just received it from. It would broadcast it on the other um, ports that it didn't receive it from. So it would simply if this is the port 1 and this is the port 2 that we just were talking about it would not send it from port 1 and it would send it from port 2 so it would broadcast it all the way along from port 1 here to um, this computer which is for example PC4 and it would send it would broadcast it for PC3 as well okay PC4 would receive it and look at it look uh, at the destination destination MAC address which is inside the packet and s and it would say this doesn't belong to me and it would simply discard it and drop it okay but PC3 receives it and it would say this is mine and simply just accepts it and processes it process it pr process would process it okay well um what other kind of things that would happen here okay so what happens let's just give it a review here what happens is that for example this time let's let's give another example here we have PC 1 and PC 3 both of the MAC addresses uh, we just talked about this but just give it give it another review PC 1 would send PC 1 would send a packet headed for PC3 it would send it first for the bridge the bridge would look up first of all the sender's address it has the sender's address no problem and second it would go for the destination address well again it would look at its table and it would come down here okay I have the destination MAC address it's accessible through port 2 this was port 2 here and this was port 1 I would send it out through port 2 send it for the switch and finally PC3 would receive it okay so Let's um, talk about the dynamic and static types of entries that would come into a layer 2 forwarding table. Well, dynamic types are the ones that a bridge learns. For example, what do you, what do you mean by learns? For example, when a bridge receives the packet, as we said, it would simply process it. 
process it and it would enter the MAC address of the computer and the port that it was just received from and it would enter it in the table okay this is called a dynamic entry it means that the bridge just learned that this MAC address is accessible from this port okay we could also have static entries here and you can manually enter them from the command line we're not going to talk about this because it's uh, a little bit beyond the scope of this video so we just um, just for your knowledge we do have static um, entries in our um, layer 2 forwarding table as well okay one other thing what happens well we were just talking about that for example this computer wants to send all the way a packet to this network what happens if I'm going to send a computer uh, a packet from this computer to this computer as you as we just talked about in the previous video we said that the network traffic within this network would remain here and the network traffic from this network would remain here as well okay so nothing is going to be bothering us from this network on this network here and nothing from this network here would be bothering us on this network and there's no there's um, no traffic is going to be just sent out from either network to the other one okay so what happens from when I'm going to send a packet from this network to this network from this computer to this computer for example if this computer is going to send um, the packet from here to here there might be a probability that the bridge might receive it okay so what happens is that when the bridge um, receives a packet that actually knows that that packet shouldn't cross itself it would just simply discard it and filter it and it won't and it would the only thing it would do is just that the sender's address would just be actually added as an entry in the table okay but it won't send it all over here to, to find uh, actually the destination because because of um, the table that it has it 